Hey guys, welcome back. This is stage three of the van build and today I'll be doing the windows. I've got a dry day. I've left stage two for a bit, uh, putting the seats in because the sun has just come out. It's been peeing it down for the last 24 hours. There's floods down the road, but now it is dry and it's apparently going to be dry all day, so get as many of the windows done as I can today. Um, the windows I've gone for are fixed windows, they don't open. Uh, it's the cheaper option. The front windows, I've got the full size, and they come from Van Diemen. Um, these are the ones that I had. I'm sure it was £184 for the pair. So you get your two windows and you get the fitting kit as well, which comes with the glue, the primer, the plastic trim that goes around the edge. So it's definitely worth, it works out a lot cheaper to get a pair rather than buy separately. Um, so that's £184. Um, the rear windows, I've gone for universal ones, which are 80 centimetres long by 27 centimetres length. Uh, height. They were from Van Pimps, which were forty pound each. They are universal, so they'll fit um, a variety of vans, providing you've got the length. Um, they are different. I'm going to have to cut two of the struts out and then get them in. I haven't fitted these ones before, but they should nice and easy it's just a case of measuring and make sure I don't mess up the sizes so basically with the windows um, the lip that comes around the edge you use that as your marker so in the corners around I'll put a few drill holes um, more more so around the curves um, because when you mark it up from the outside, you can guide through the, the holes like a dot to dot, so you can get a more accurate curve. So a couple of holes around the curve, a couple along the straights, and then so on all the way around, and then you mark it up from the outside. So for the main big windows, we went to Van Diemen. As you can see, it's a big, box and wrapped up in bubble wrap so it is definitely well secured when it comes out and on these as well it also tells you what side they go on to left hand side window tint it does say medium wheelbase there but it's the same for a long wheelbase as well Comes with the codes, all good, well happy. Right then, now let's cut this window out. So, got my drill, got a small drill bit. Um, you only need a small one, because all it is, is just to make a few holes around the curve and a couple down the straight edge um, so on the outside you can mark them up like a dot to dot um, so I'll do a couple of small ones and then I'll put a bigger one in um, along somewhere just so I can get the drill bit in uh, so I've got the drill the, the jigsaw blade in to start cutting so all right, let's get cracking There we have it, four corners. And then a couple at the tops and along the bottom. So I can run a straight edge from the outside. 
Make sure you don't stand on the window. So there we go. Can now run a straight edge and mark all these up so I know where I'm cutting to. So with the panel cutting that out, some people will use a grinder. Um, me personally, I wouldn't use a grinder, um, but quite a few people do use them, so it must work okay. Me, my personal preference is the jigsaw. Um, jigsaw on a slow setting with a metal cutting blade. Can't go wrong. So on the outside, I've marked where it's going to go, put my pencil line, um, marked them all up, and now I'm going to cut that out with my jigsaw. I just need to put one more hole in to start off with the jigsaw blade in, and then I can chase round onto my line. Let's get this sorted. There we go, it's a bit faint. I've gone round, marked it all up. I put a starting hole here, a starting hole at the top, just so I can get the jigsaw in. There we go, let's get this one done. Johnny. So there we go, hole's been cut out nice and easy. Along the edges now, I will um, sand these down a bit and put some um, anti-rust on there to prevent it from rusting. So, all good, nice and easy. First of six windows. So obviously because I've cut the window out now, got lots of metal shavings everywhere. So all along the inside and the outside of the van, I need to brush it down, give it a wash, make sure there's no bits of metal because the metal, if it stays anywhere, it can start um, leaving little rust marks all over the van. That's the last thing we want. So get that washed down, get um, all cleaned off and everything. Then the edge all the way around, I'll rub it down, make sure it's all smooth, and then put some rust converter on it to ensure that uh, the bare metal doesn't start rusting or anything. So at least it's got protection for when the window goes on top. But the first one has gone smooth, I'm happy, and the bit of panel that doesn't come out, um, that there, we had um, a, a, um, a scrap man come round the other day, um, and I took his number, so all my panels I'll be taking out, I can give him a call and he'll take them away. So at least you haven't got to worry about having them or trying to get rid of them in any way. A scrap man will take them for you, free of charge. So, all good. Now let's get this on quick, just in case it does start raining. It's nice and sunny at the moment, so I'm hoping to try and get at least two windows done today. Let's see how it goes.
can't find any paintbrushes, so I'm just using an old little roller. So in the cess you get uh, the knock-on trim, and that goes all around the edge. You can either use a mallet, or if you've only got a hammer, use the handle of a hammer. Um, so I think an actual hammer would be too much. So put it on, just tap it in place. So once you've gone all the way round, you come to the overlap, cut it slightly bigger, just so you get a snug fit. The last thing you want to do is cut it flush, and then when you knock it in, it gets a bit smaller. So I've just got some standard um, metal snips. marked it there we go all done So in the kit you get a uh, surface prep and that there is literally like a wet wipe. And what you do with that is you go around the edge, the black part of the window and around the door where the window is being bonded to. Make sure it's all clean, dust free and ready to go. Then once that's dry you get another bottle which is called Prep M um, and a lint free cloth. So you wet the cloth with the Prep M very thinly go around the black area of the window not the clear glass because it will stain so around the black edge of the whole window and where the window is being bonded to on the door go around there as well as I say go thinly uh, you don't need to go really thick on this this normally takes about five minutes to dry So that's both the window and the door. Done now with the prep M. The glue that you get for the windows is the Bostic Simpson ISR 7C8. Um, this is a different one that I used last time. Advanced performance elastic glazing adhesive. Primerless edition, uh, so that's why there's no primer with this pack. Then, because the last window I had, um, it's like a black primer which you put around the frame, but there's none on this one, so this must be the new one that they use. So, while I'm waiting for the prep M to dry, I've been and got some scotch masking tape. And with this, what you do is once the window is in place, put some tape from above the window coming over onto the window to stop the window from dropping down a bit once you stick it on. Uh, there's a bit of weight in the window and don't fancy standing there for hours waiting for it to set. So at least the tape will give it enough to hold it in place, to stop it from dropping down. So I'll get some of these cut up and put above the door. So once that's in place, I can just peel it and put it across. So if it's cold outside when you're doing the windows, the glue can be a pain to squeeze out the gun. So I've just got it in a saucepan of hot water to try and warm it up and make it more subtle to use. So that's dry now. I've got the tape on the door ready. And now I'm about to put the glue around the edge. Uh, this states it needs to be a 9mm by 9mm triangle minimum. 
so I will probably be putting more than that on purely because the way I see it, I'd sooner have more and wipe it off than not enough and have leaks and I have to try and rectify it or in some cases that I've seen online people have had to take the window off and start again and I don't fancy doing that so I'll put more on just to be on the safe side um, once you put this on you've got about a 15 minute working time so as soon as you've got the glue on there get it on ASAP underneath the window which you'll see shortly I've got the suction cups um, so literally once I've glued that I can turn it over and hold it up by the orange suction cups which makes it easier to hold it in place so yeah let's get this done One down, five to go. I'll leave the tape on there, probably leave it overnight now. But I definitely recommend the suction cups. It makes it so much easier to maneuver the window. Highly recommend them. That's the second one in now, driver's side. Run a bit over the top with the uh, masking tape, but I'm on my own. Right in the Halloween sweets. Oh, suit you, sir. Nice. Glad to say that there is no leaks coming from the windows. Both windows are <laughs> watertight, which I'm glad about. Fortunately, though, I do have a leak, but it's not coming from the window, it's coming from the door. So I need to get a new seal to the top of the door. I'll get that ordered later. Make sure it's watertight. But I'm happy to say that both windows are watertight. And with the amount of rain that we had last night, if there was any leaks or any holes or anything, then it would have come through last night. So that's all good. So for the rear side windows, I've gone for the universal ones from Van Pimps and just marking now where to put them on the window because I don't really have an idea on how to mark it in here whereas standard ones you just cut around the rim so these ones here I've had to mark them and make sure that the hole is the right size and what I've done is where the window ends and you've got the, the black around the edge I've done it so there's a centimetre border around the edge of each one so a bit similar to the other ones, you get like a black. So as you can see there, there's like a black rim around the edge on the window. So I'm going to keep that on there to keep it uniform. There we go. Marked it now. So I'll do my drill holes from the outside as well. I've cut seven centimeters off the top, and then come down twenty-six centimeters, and then I've marked roughly where I want it along the edge. Put me straight edge along it. Same again there, and also because I'm doing one on the other side as well, I've made sure that 
wrote my measurements down so I pretended this is the panel and this is the hole I'm cutting out so I've made sure I've marked everywhere as to how I cut it out so it's the same on both sides so I started doing my marks but what I've done here I started putting a mark in there and I don't know what made me think but I stopped to come in to see where it was and it is behind struck by there as you can see it's dented a bit so instead of going to that mark there and cutting out this strut um, what I've done is I've marked off the, my other holes and come across and that is 67 centimeters to there so I thought I'd rather lose four centimeters of window and gain an extra strut for the panel so at least then the panel is more sturdier and when I come to do my boxing in and stuff I can use this then to fix things too so I've lost four centimeters of the window but I think it's better gaining the strut bar so all good on both sides and right on cue just I'm about to start cutting it starts raining great deja vu with the vent again so I think I'm gonna have to hold this for a bit I might even tidy the back of the van while I've got nothing to do it's both been cut out now there's one and there's the other so as I say I've lost four centimeters on the end of each one but I think it's definitely worth it to keep that strut in and same again here I've left the strut in gone up to it and originally I was gonna pull these back and cut them back a bit but I'm gonna leave these in purely because when I put the frame underneath here for the windowsill this can support the frame and also it'll, I can stick it back to the panel to secure the panel because there's a lot of movement in that so all good now let's get these in place before it rains so with the main windows that I had in the side door and opposite in the kit it comes with a black trim that goes around the edge and because I needed to buy some for the back windows I've gone for a cheaper budget option and this I can't remember how much it is I'll put the link here this is the one I got and basically it's just a thinner version it's got a sticky back as well and all this is is just to cover the metal so the metal's not on show and it's not up against the window at all so it's really thin and then the flat part of the P that will be on the outside and then the curve will be on the inside I think that would be better than trying to put a proper thick um, U-trim on it because you haven't got much allowance on the window for the glue to stick to the, win uh, the panel so I think this is a better option because it's really thin at the back so I'll get this hammered on now and get the windows in So for the, the rear universal windows on eBay, I bought a master bond kit which comes with the adhesive to stick the windows on and also the primer kit. So I'm about to put the primer on now, um, put that all around the windows and around where the window is going. So what I've done is I've marked where the window is going to go can't really see properly so the window is fully marked out and what I've done is here the bottom of the window I've taped a bit of hardboard to it so the window will sit on that and also so then I know where the window needs to go to makes it a bit easy when you're trying to guess putting a window on so all good so I've got the primer on both windows around the window there 
and on there as well. So I'm going to let that set to dry. And I've got the adhesive on top of the radiator in the house at the moment because it is quite cold. So that's been on there for about half an hour to keep it nice and warm. So I'll go and get that now and stick these on. It's raining. I'm doing windows. And I shall not be defeated. <sighs> one down I'm soaked and I managed to get that on just in time I hope it sticks so now about to start that one because I've already got everything out so got my black bag gonna make myself a little DIY umbrella <laughs> so Gotta be done. The joys of the UK. Can't beat a bit of rain. When you make plans to work on the van and the weatherman has other ideas, I shall not be defeated. <laughs> the windows are going in. There's one. I managed to get that one done in the rain because I'd already literally, as I finished putting the adhesive around the window, heavens opened and it absolutely lashed it down. So I managed to get a bag over the top just so I could work underneath the bag. So that one's done. Started drying up a bit now, but just managed to get that one in. Um, caught the last bit of rain. So it's a shame that I never held off for 20 minutes, but the glue would have gone off. And so that one's on now as well. Got the bag there. It was on, it's come off in the wind. So good. That's another two windows down now. So guys, that is my windows now all done. The front windows and the back windows. The rear door windows, I'm gonna do it at a later date. So I'm gonna wait until I actually do the doors and then I'll put the windows in at the same time. But the front ones were from Van Diemen. They were 185 pound for the kit. You get the two windows and the, uh, the fitting kit. So you get the glue, the primer, and the beading around the edge, the U-trim. Uh, so that was £185. The back ones, they were £45 each. And they were from Van Pimps. So that was £90 for the, them two. And around the windows on the back, rather than buying thick U trim, I decided to get a smaller U trim off Amazon, which worked out about three or four pounds. Um, I'll put a link for that because I did actually like that and I'll probably use that again in future because it's nice and thin. Then I had to buy another mastic kit for the to stick them on. Um, I'll put a link for that here as well. Um, that was on Amazon, the mastic kit. That was £13 I think. So £185, £90, that's £275, £285, £290. Just under £300 for the four windows. That is quite a chunk out of a budget. So, but well worth it. I only had one window in the last van and we did regret it because it was really dark. So now it's going to be the complete opposite. We've got four windows in, one roof venting already. Soon to have another roof vent as well. I want to get round to that. All good um, as you can see yeah I've got all different bits going on at the same time because when it's raining outside I have to stop and then I do bits inside uh, but the next video will be the roof vents possibly it's depending if the rain stops so I can get the other one in um, so yeah I hope this helps and thank you for watching 
if you like it give us a thumbs up feel free to subscribe and again please feel free to head over to our facebook page which is budget south build camper van club many people on there are willing to help no question is a silly question on there so ask away with anything that you want help with and that's me done take care of all see you soon